every single thing around us has has been created to not only live and survive, but to do that in a successful manner. And sometimes what happens when we're in court with a narcissist or we're getting weighed down with the day-to-day things that we need to do, including, you know, emotionally regulating ourselves, how to communicate to the narcissist, how to respond instead of react, how to control and uh, regulate our, our nervous systems and our households and our children's feelings and emotions and thoughts and so forth, right? We can get so lost in all of these things that we we forget that we were innately designed for success. And in fact, we can get so focused on you know the the forest, the the trees that we lose sense of the force that's around us. Um, you know, seeds of every every kind of seed that goes to a plant has a specific process that it needs to go through in order to recreate or reproduce another one of its kind. And when it goes through that process, it doesn't just create another one, right? So one seed does not equal one plant. One seed equals 10,000 plants, right? Because each seed is going to multiply itself and it's going to reproduce multiple seeds that can then create multiple other plants, which create multiple other seeds. Um, An apple tree, for example, there's you can, you know, they say you can count the seeds that are in an apple, but you can't count the amount of trees that are in a seed. And that's because the the process of success was innately designed in the seed. We don't wonder if that seed actually is going to do the thing that it's going to do. It's going, the seed is going to do what it, it needs to do. We're, the question really comes down to, are you going to give it the, the correct environment? right? For it to thrive, for it to grow. And everything is actually created this way. You know, birds, birds migrate and, and they're not wondering, oh, I, I wonder why I feel the need to go to the South now. They just know, hey, it's getting too cold. This environment isn't going to support not only my life, but the success of which I live my life. I need to get out of here. I need to take my family. I need to get with all my friends and go. I need to fly somewhere where it's the environment is going to be hospitable towards my success every single thing adapts to its environment and that is the starting point of success right this success me- mechanism is innate into every single part of creation and we we need to know we need to remember that we were created with that very same dna there is a success aspect to your creation to your dna you know the the plant that knows its roots need to go deep and its branches need to go tall towards the sky there's an instinctual process there there's an instinctual success mechanism encoded there that it's following it doesn't question whether or not it's it's doing the right thing or it's not second guessing that but for humans we've we're not only able to contemplate our environment and have these thoughts about ourselves, about our, our future, about our families and, and where, you know, or how our future is going and the direction and trajectory and so forth, able to see those things almost unto our detriment, almost unto the fact that we forget that we have been created with divine DNA in us, right? That we are also equipped with unique facilities, with unique set of adaptations that enable us to not only survive, but to thrive in our environments, right? And so our innovation, our ingenuity, sometimes these things get taken away from us because we're so focused on what we would like our environment to be to the point where we're focusing on what we want without actually doing anything. We're not taking the steps necessary to start making that environment 